Hey guys, this is Anna with Anna Travels, back with another video. So I'm in Southern Pines, North Carolina. I spent um, about a day with my parents and then my husband's attending a training course for his job and so I decided to come visit him. I have Indy the Corgi. Um, we're going to head out to get coffee. Well, I'm gonna get coffee. <laughs> um, so I hadn't planned to do any like touristy things, just hang out with my husband and then I have to leave to do stuff, you know, back at home. Um, but I decided that we have to eat, so we're going to do a little Southern Pines food tour. Um, I got here last night, so we did have dinner at a place called the Sly Fox. It is a really cute little British pub type place, um, and the food is, you know, your typical British, you know, type foods, and their butter chicken, um, that's what I got. It was super good, and, um, had, like, nice flavor to it. You know, butter chicken's not really that spicy, but it had a little bit, um, of spice, so it wasn't just like plain Jane butter chicken. Um, it had some flavor to it. It was super tasty. The naan was super good. And then my husband got a lamb burger, um, and he enjoyed his burger too. Um, and then for our appetizers, we got like a scotch egg and a sausage rolls. And I love, I love the scotch egg. It didn't have too much flavor in like the sausage part, so I was like. It wasn't the best uh, scotch egg I've ever had, but like the sausage roll was so good. Like the crispy flake of the pastry was so good and the mustard that they had was super awesome. So yeah, so that was our first stop. So our next stop is gonna be a coffee place called the Pony Espresso because I need coffee and I need to get going because I have a meeting at 1030. I'm still teleworking. Um, from his hotel room. So I'm still working, so we need to go quick. There she is, the Pony Expresso. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a line. Not sure how this line's gonna work, but we'll figure it out. So if you come here, there's a huge pothole, and she had given me a dog biscuit for Indy, which was really sweet of her. I didn't even know she could see him. And as I was driving off, I hit the pothole. Indy kind of like went, come, he like came into, because I was handing it back to him, he came into the dashboard. And uh, then he took a, he tried to get a lick of the whipped cream that's on the mocha. So it was a little dramatic, but I got an iced mocha because it's hot today. Um, but let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, I'm like out of frame. What I like, about what I don't like about some coffee shops is they make their mochas like too too sweet but this is definitely coffee like I can taste the coffee but I can taste the chocolate so that's really good so that's pretty awesome needed that also got um, it says blueberry but it's actually pecan she said they mislabeled it um, it looks like it's a local place so it's not like they made it but let me give it a try. Um, I heard they had good scones here, but I don't know, a good coffee cake with coffee is awesome. So, like nice coffee. Hmm, that's pretty good. Not too sweet, but perfect. It's good and moist. So yeah, so that is the second trip, food trip in Southern Pines. Um, I don't know where we're gonna go to lunch. I mean, dinner, so we'll find out. It was super good. Um, I judge places by their sushi rice and their sushi rice is legit. Um, really good sushi. Also their fish quality, super good. Um, I like the story about, I can't remember exactly. I drank that whole entire bottle of sake pretty much by myself. But I like the story about where they get their fish. Um, they don't catch, they only hook catch fish no net catching, so less waste and such. 
But yeah, I mean, the only thing I can really critique them on, the ramen broth wasn't super hot. Um, it was kind of warmer than lukewarm. Um, and for me, it wasn't spicy at all. It was supposed to be a spicy Godorable, but I love the name. Super cool place. I would definitely check them out. Their fish quality is superb. Love. You have to have good fish for sushi and great rice. And the, they definitely nailed it. Oh, so we're going to an ice cream place. Don't, don't try to drink a whole bottle of sake by yourself. Unless you can handle it, which I haven't had that much alcohol. So tipsy me actually don't really recall what ice cream I got here, but it was super delicious. I told my husband this is like, it was like one of my new best flavors. Not that I remember what it was, but go check them out if you're in Southern Pines. You'll definitely won't regret it. So we're at coffee shop number two. Um, it's called Java Bean Plantation and uh, I think like coffee, like roastery or something. Um, so I have no idea. They had no menu online or in their Facebook hadn't been updated since 2010. So I have no idea what's kind of going to go on, but obviously it's a coffee shop. So let's go check it out. So it's like a little window, like they have indoor seating, but that's, uh, but you don't order indoor, you order at the window, um, or you can just sit on the deck. It's really cute little place. Um, I got the firecracker, it's their latte. It has French vanilla and, oh, oh brown sugar. Um, I should have gotten, I saw another drink, they call it the Blondie, it had butterscotch and French vanilla, and I was like, oh man, I should have gotten that one, because that kind of sounds like a, a butterbeer latte, but anyways, let's give this a try. Hmm. I mean, it's, I know it's a, the reason why I'm confused, because it kind of has like, kind of like a cinnamon vibe to it. I don't know. It's good. It's definitely, it's not like, I was, I, you know, I, like, like before, like yesterday with the Pony Espresso, I'm always worried about like coffee shops, like specialty drinks, because I mean, not that a mocha was a special drink but yesterday, but I just worry that they'll be overly sweet because I'm not, I like my coffee a little bit on the less sweet side, especially these drinks. Cause like, you know, you go to Starbucks and you get like one of their drinks and it's like completely like you know, 800 million grams of sugar. But this actually tastes the coffee. Um, if you're at Starbucks, it tastes like almost like a cinnamon dolce latte. Um, so that's kind of what it reminds me of, except for this is the ice version. They can do it hot. Um, they had like, I was curious, but I didn't get it. They have like, um, their simple syrups, either flavored with lavender or hibiscus. So that actually also sounded really good. But I'm glad what I got next up breakfast because it didn't seem like they had any food options. So, and I'm starving. The started to direct the black pieces. They moved silently wherever he said. How his knees were trembling. So I'm back in my hotel with my husband. Uh, well, he's not here. He's at his training. Um, I'm not going to do a room tour. We're at the Days Inn in Southern Pines. It's decent. It's not like, you know, top notch, you know, Ritz Carlton, but it's clean. It's nice. There's AC and you know a shower. Um, I went to Biscuitville. Um, I just I love Biscuitville. If you're ever in like North Carolina, and I think they have them in South Carolina as well. Um, it's fast food, but it's so good. And they're only open from like 5:30 to 2 p.m. And it's pretty much breakfast. They had a bologna, like their special was a bologna biscuit sandwich. I don't like bologna. <laughs> um, I was like almost tempted to try it, you know, for YouTube, but I just, I just can't. I love their spicy honey chicken biscuit. And so, and that's what I got. Their other special is their peach tea, which I did get. So, and it has, it seems like it has like some peach particles. At first I thought that was sugar and I was a little worried. Um, then I realized it's peach and then a peach muffin. Um, so yeah. So here's the spicy chicken honey, and you can tell there's a lot of honey, so I'm gonna be a little messy. Then the peach muffin, it's supposed to have like strudel, but it, I mean, it kind of has some strudel. And then, like I said, the uh, the Biscuitville peach tea. So I'm gonna give each, I'm gonna give the muffin a try first, just because it's gonna be least messy. So it looks like there's like, I'm not sure, my camera, the lighting is kind of bad in this, room but 
You can see there's like a peach particle. A peach particle, yeah. So. Mm. That's really good. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. They make everything in-house, like um, like their biscuits. Um, if you actually go into the shop, um, depending on like uh, what time it is, they'll actually have someone in a little window that's making the biscuits and the muffins and, and all the other baked goods. I'm gonna give the uh, tea a try. Let's shake it up first. Sweet, but it's not like southern sweet. It has the you can tell tell like it has the peach flavor, um, but it's not atrociously sweet like sometimes southern teas can be. And I'm going to take a bite out of my favorite biscuit sandwich. It's really really piping hot still. Mm. I love it. I love the spiciness. It's not that spicy. And I love the honey. So yeah, I gotta get to work. I have a meeting. So I gotta log into my computer and attend the meeting. But yeah, so I don't know what we're gonna do for lunch or for dinner, so stay tuned. Good morning. Um, so last night we went to dinner. I didn't really vlog. I did take video, so I'll put it in the clip. I'll put it in this video. We went to Southern Prime Steakhouse in Southern Pines and um, it was quite nice. Uh, my husband was like, you know, he treated me out for dinner. Um, it'll be another week and a half before he comes back from training. And so um, it was a nice little dinner, just the two of us. And the food was amazing. I got surf and turf, um, this tender, I, you know, I usually go for a ribeye. I'm a ribeye. Um, when I'm not feeling that pricey, I usually go for a T-bone, but the tenderloin was so soft and it was so good. And um, my uh, husband got T-bone steak with like potatoes. They definitely give you a lot of potatoes. We got dessert too. And the dessert was good. It wasn't like the best dessert I've ever had, but it was really good. I mean, cheesecake with a solid cheesecake. My husband got peach cobbler, which was super good. And oh, the dessert, I mean, the appetizer, I forgot, was a lobster ragoon. That was really good. That was like my favorite thing um, that I ate all night. So anyways guys, uh, we're gonna go to Betsy's Crepes and then I'm gonna head home because this guy right here, that guy right there, he's a little bit stressing. He's ready to go home. He's not a traveling dog, but he's cute. So I'm gonna go get breakfast real quick. Then we're gonna finish packing and head on out. Crepe. There's like a pork belly, avocado spinach, gouda. It's supposed to have peppers, red peppers, but I don't really like red peppers. So let's get into it. it smells so good. So my last stop on the Southern Pines food tour is. Amor Diego, oh shoot, I need to really look up. I'll put the name. Coffee, I got a iced uh, caramel latte. Um, it's pretty good. Really nice, smooth uh, coffee, not too sweet. It's pretty perfect. So definitely check out that place as well. It's a really cute little town, has some good food options. Apparently, uh, my husband is posting, you know, his food, his little food adventures and his friends are suggesting more and more places. So unfortunately, this is my last stop because I have to head back home. So, but I hope you guys like, subscribe. If you're in Southern Pines, you definitely have a lot of good food choices. So take care, guys.